Seven Circuit Classical Labyrinth from Seed. Start with the seed pattern. Start with your cross. And this one's going to have four elbows and four dots, so we're gonna need to start with a little bigger one. I'm gonna put our four elbows in, one path width away from the center. kind of eyeballing this to do it quickly and then the four dots one path with the way from the elbow And I use that first light mark just to kind of give me the distance from the previous one so I can confirm it with the subsequent one and make it bigger so I don't miss it when I'm coming around. Same construction as before. You can uh, just do a simple pivot I'm equidistant there and there. Kind of close the center. And then use the previous line as a guide. Stopping at the dot. Pivoting on the dot. Stopping at the next dot. Pivot. Continue on through, always using the previous line as a reference to keep the path widths uniform. Top of the dot, pivot. You can go back and forth, you can go the same direction, however you feel moved. So you meet up with the center. Seven Circuit Classical from Seed. You'll notice with four elbows, two on top and two on bottom, and four dots, two on top and two on bottom on either side of the center arms of the cross, you wind up with an entrance into the center from the third circuit out and you get a full turn around the entrance into the labyrinth from the outside so you don't get that loose hanging button hook on there. Seven circuit classical from seed.